Hello and welcome to the Django Admin series. So I wanted to make a series introduction to give you a, an overview of what's going to happen in this series and how maybe you can input into the series. The Django Admin series is focused on the Django Admin site, all the possibilities and features. So pretty much all the things you can do in the Django Admin site. So customizations, hooks, features, functions, adaptions. We'll try and have a look at just about everything we can think about in terms of the Django Admin site. Very much like the ORM series, this is going to be another continuation series. So hopefully we'll just continue adding more uh, short, simple tutorials uh, about the Django Admin. So I do want to take input from you and suggestions from the community. And as Django changes, we'll go ahead and iterate some of the tutorials so that we can update them. In addition to that, what would be great if we tried to utilize YouTube in a way where we could create more iterative, iterative approaches in that once something is outdated, we retire the video. Uh, for example, if you see there is an update or if there's just something you want to include in the tutorial, if you think there's something that should be included so we can expand and make the individual tutorial much more effective and useful and content rich, that would be great. We could potentially then have a look at suggestions from the community and then make changes and then redo the tutorial. So the overall goal here is to create a complete series about the Django admin in this case, with these continuation series, with the idea of, like I said, trying to expand and keep growing and changing and iterating over the different tutorials to make it better. So for those who don't know what the Django admin site is, it's gonna be a powerful, it's going to be, it is a powerful admin interface tool that's kind of uh, built into Django out of the box, so to speak. So as soon as you create a new project with Django, you'll be able to go through a, few, a number of different steps and then be able to access the admin interface. Now, normally something, if you're starting off with Django is to remember the actual URL to the interface or to the admin site, which is normally 127.001 colon 8000 slash admin. So that's how to access the admin site once you've got a few kind of the building blocks, blocks started. Now, how this works is the admin interface takes information from the model metadata. So you're going to build some tables and in your applications, and the admin interface is going to basically look for those models and take some data from it to build a database interface inside of the admin page or the admin tool. So that's going to allow you to add information to the database and just to perform other tasks. So the great thing about this admin interface or admin site is that you don't need to build an admin site for your models. This is a great tool, particularly uh, aiding rapid development. It's just one less thing that you need to build initially. So if anything, for now, just think of this as an interface that allows you to kind of add data to your database, to your tables. So like I said, it is built into the default project. So you can pretty much access this on any project you make in Django. So here's a simple example of what the admin interface might look like. So here I've created a, a post model in an application and you can see that I've regist registered it with the admin panel and now I have access to it. So I've only got one field here. So I can go ahead and I haven't programmed or made any of this. This is all kind of built in. So I'm just going to uh, add a new post. You can see there's already something in my database which gets picked up by the admin area and I can see it, have a look at it. I can edit it and do a number of different tasks on that data. So obviously I've only got one item or one field in this table at the moment. So I can add a new post, add some new data, press save. And you can see it's a nice simple interface at this point where we can add and delete data from our database. So in addition to this, it's not only just uh, data that we might use in our database, we can administrate users as well in the admin area. So all these type of tools and features and customizations, this is what we're gonna have a look at in this Django admin series. So this leads into our first tutorial where we're going to just go through the stages of building a simple project making some models, and then going through the process of actually actually accessing the 
Django admin interface. So this process starts with creating a new Django project. We're then creating model. Now you don't actually need to make a model to access the admin interface. It just allows us to interact with something once we do log in. So we can then, once you've created a new model, we then perform an initial migration, make migration and migrate so that we apply our new model to a database. Now, once we've done that, we need to tell Django that we want to utilize or we want to interact with our new model, our table in the admin area. So what we do is we register that model in the admin file. So once we've done that, that allows Django to access that data so that the admin site can uh, generate some interfaces for us to interface with our database or our, our new model. So once that's done, in order to actually get into the Django admin, we're going to need to initially create a super user. So this is an admin user that we're going to create to allow us initial access into our admin area. So typically these are the steps we're going to take when we start a new project to access and to utilize the Django admin area. So there we go, that's what's gonna be next. We'll go through those steps in the next tutorial. Um, I do hope this is a good series. Um, any feedback would be greatly appreciated. And like I said, um, if you do have any suggestions um, or ways you think that the tutorial can be improved and it's something that we can iterate over and remake the tutorial, then please leave a comment in the comments section. Okay, so hopefully we'll see you in the next tutorial where we get started utilizing the Django admin area.